جیسا کہ آپ جانتے ہیں پولی اے آر این اے کو پیوریفائی کرنے کے لیے ہمیں کالم کروماٹوگرافی کی ضرورت پیش آتی ہے اور اس میں ہم اولیگو ڈی ٹی سیلولوز یوز کرتے ہیں ایلیوٹیڈ آر این اے اس میتھڈ کے ذریعے جو ہمارے پاس آتا ہے دیٹ از اسٹل ناٹ ہنڈریڈ پرسینٹ پیوریفائڈ اینڈ دا پولی اے آر این اے از پرزنٹ ان دیٹ پرٹیکولر ایلیوٹیڈ سامپل اونلی سو ہمارے پاس کچھ آپشنل فردر اسٹیپس ہیں ٹو پیوریفائی دی ایلیوٹیڈ سامپل اب اس ایلیوٹیڈ سامپل میں جو میجورٹی آف آر این اے ہے دیٹ از پولی اے آر این اے بٹ بسائڈس دیٹ پولی اے آر این اے سم ٹریسز آف ادر آر این ایز آر آلسو پرزنٹ سو وی ہیو ٹو ریپیٹ دس پیوریفیکیشن پروسیس یوزنگ سم ڈفرنٹ بفرز اینڈ سم ایڈیشنل اسٹیپس فرام دی ایلیوٹیڈ سامپل فار دیٹ پرپز ونس وی گیٹ دا ایلیوٹیڈ آر این اے سامپل وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ہیٹ اٹ سکسٹی فائیو ڈگری سینٹی گریڈ فار تھری منٹس اینڈ we are going to cool it immediately again the purpose is to get rid of all the secondary structure at this stage we are going to adjust the ionic concentration the sodium chloride solution is going to be used the five molar sodium chloride is going to be added in this rna solution to the final concentration of 0.5 molar sodium chloride or in simple words we can say we are going to add 1 to 10 uh, ratio of the sodium chloride so this ionic concentration once adjusted then we have to use the same column which we used earlier to elute that particular rna the same steps are going to be repeated that this rna is going to be loaded on the column and is going to be collected by column loading buffer and uh, subsequently by uh, eluting uh, elution buffer the steps number 3 and step number 5 to 11 are going to be repeated at this stage the collected or the poly a rna is going to be uh, which is achieved from the second round of purification is going to be added with the three molar sodium acetate ph 5.2 to a final concentration of 0.3 molar that is again 1 to 10 ratio mixing this well using vertex mixer can also be used for this purpose now this step leads towards the ethanol precipitation of poly a rna for that purpose we added sodium acetate the next step is to to add the 2.5 milliliter of the ethanol and then storing it on ice for some particular time that is 30 minutes now this 30 minutes time period is sufficient enough for the rna to precipitate down for the poly a rna to precipitate down to recover the poly a rna we are going to perform the next step of centrifugation at 10000 g for 15 minutes at 4 degree centigrade this centrifugation process or step is going to settle or precipitate the poly a rna which can later be purified with the help of uh, ethanol and to evaporate the ethanol once centrifugation is done supernatant is no more required it is discarded the pellet is left behind this pellet is going to be washed with 70% alcohol so that any traces of 100% ethanol or any other salt or any other ion is left behind that could be washed away once the washing is done we need to aspirate or we need to remove all the alcohol or ethanol by aspiration by putting the tubes upside down but at this same time we need to be assured that the rna pellet should not get dried once all the ethanol is evaporated or is gone then we can redissolve the rna pellet in depc treated water depc treated water is going to be used for the purpose so that rna is can be avoided this rna solution can be used to determine the concentration of rna at 260 nanometer in quartz cubit and different different fractions of rna are, can be pooled together which are having the similar concentration and this rna is now containing the poly a rna it can be stored as we have talked about the storage condition of rna earlier for further utilization this rna can be used to do the rna gel electrophoresis it can be used to do uh, perform the reverse transcription 
and it can be used for subsequent studies related to gene expression studies.